Hi guys. A few months ago I gave uh, this particular soap I'm going to hold up here a bad rap. And I didn't like it at all. And it was not, I, I think I said it wasn't slippery. It just, I had to go to a different shaving soap uh, even to finish a shave. So uh, the name of the soap here is the, uh, uh, yeah, what's the name of it? Family Soap Maker since 1958. There you go. The Dr. Oh, Dr. Bronner's Fair Trade Organic Shaving Soap. All right, what the reason I'm bringing this up is I normally don't do this, but I, I read all the comments that you guys put on put down below my videos, and I got this one here right there. I printed it out by uh, Kev Ava, Keith Keith Ava, Keith Ava. He said I've been using this since 2016. Wet your face and your hands, and just put a little in both your hands. Uh, rub it together and apply it to the face. No brush needed. And I think I tried to use a brush last time. Uh, and he said, I use way too much. It's not a brush soap. I love it. Gives a great shave. You are just not using this type of soap. Uh, don't use a brush. And that's why it's not working. Okay. So I wrote him back and I said, I'll give it a try this week. And I said, in fact, I'll probably try to make a, a, a video on it again and give it a second try. I mean, I might be wrong. I'm not uh, the be all and the end all of... Uh, experts on shaving but just in case it doesn't work out I have some Arco here in my bowl standing by like an emerge like an ambulance right there okay and I'm gonna use a I'm not gonna use a brush when I use a Dr. Uh, Bronner I guess it's called but I, I do have my my brush here soaking and how just in case I need it so we're gonna give it a second try and try to give it a fair appraisal and see if it can if it works out this time. So I don't know if any of you guys have used this soap before. It sure smells nice, and it foams up nice on the hands. It really, it, but let's see what it does on the face. I will be using a Prazo pre-shave just in case. Okay, so let me wash up here and uh, be right with you. We'll see how this works. All right, be right back. All right, what I had, I'm going to mention to you the. The razor I'm going to be using is the uh, Merker 37C. I'm very familiar with this razor. I usually get really good shaves out of it. And the blade I'm going to be using, in all fairness, is a Nasset. This will be the second use. It's just, I used it once already. Sometimes you can use the blade the first time. It's really sharp. And you get a better shave the second and a third. After that, you just throw them away. I have so many razors, I'm not going to live long enough to use them all anyway. So... Uh, I'm going to use this as second usage of this, the Nasset Gillette stainless steel razor. It's a good razor. I've never had any problems with it. So I want to try to keep this as non-aggressive as I possibly can when I use the soap and give my full attention to the soap more so than the razor and the blade. So we got this in here. It, there's, no, there's a little bit of an overhang on this razor. It's very short. I love short handle razors. And... Uh, Slant bar works great. All right, let me wash up again. Wow, I look like Santa Claus. I, I got about five days, six days of growth on here. I've been real busy. I'll tell you a little story about one of my other channels. I had uh, my cooking channel, R7 Eagle Productions. Uh, I'll put a link down below. And so I did a, a review on a carbon steel pan because I cook with carbon steel pans. And sometimes they get damaged for whatever reason. You might be using, you shouldn't use acidic foods in them like tomato sauce or you can do it in a short period of time but not long. Anyway, this is a common problem. Maybe the center of the pan is no longer stick free. And some guy wrote a comment. It just stuck me the wrong way. He said I should take it down because when you you taught him how to season it, he said you use potato skins and oil and kosher salt. You're doing a disservice to the cooking community. And he went on and on and on. So I basically wrote him. Usually I don't do this, but I just, you know, I'm 77. I say what the hell I want. I don't really care. I don't need the money off my, uh, videos i really don't so i wrote back in a comment and i says look you know you don't have to watch my videos go some go to other channels i really don't care you know and i said by the way it works by the mind it works and uh uh you should also know that i don't work for you 
I'm not taking it off the, the internet. So basically, go screw yourself. <laughs> so I haven't heard anything back, but I don't really care. I'm getting a little fed up. It's interesting with this. I never really had any bad comments on my shaving channel, but I'll tell you, on my, uh, I'm going to put some in my hand while I'm talking here. Mix it together carefully. Wow, comes out like oil, like tar almost. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it without me falling all over, okay? So, but I'll tell you something, on my cooking channel, man, I get a lot of comments. Uh, you know, you're not doing this right, or I do it this way. It's like, holy smoly, the difference between this channel and the shaving channel. I got to get my bulletproof vest on when I'm using my doing my shaving channel. Oh, wow, well, I may have put too much on, but that's all. We'll just rub it in. Looks awful, I guess, but hey, I'm here to check it out. I don't want to prejudge it again. I didn't prejudge it. It just it didn't work for me last time the way I did it. So what am I supposed to do? I got my hands like this way it looks. It came out pretty quick out of the, the container. It smells nice. That's one. I have to give it credit for that. All right. No brush. So if you're going to go, if this works out, this soap, you can take it on a trip with you. Of course, who goes on trips anymore because of COVID? But in case you do, you can pack this in your suitcase. And you don't need a brush and a bowl and all that stuff. So it makes life a little easier. All right. This, uh, slippery in my hands as I'm washing the... I want to wash it off my hands so I don't slip with my razor. Alright, again, this is a, a Merkur 37C slant bar razor and I have a, a Nasset blade in there, Gillette. And it's, this will be the second use. Let's stick it under the water here and just see how we do. Seems like it's pulling a little bit now. If I shaved with this uh, this blade and this razor the other day, and it didn't do that. But don't forget, my whiskers are pretty long, and sometimes that happens. It's not painful. It's just you can feel it pulling a little. Hear my clock tick 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 drives me crazy I don't hear it now unless I really listen to it but on the videos when I'm editing afterwards I so I'll watch my videos sometimes and it just drives me crazy but I think by now you guys are used to it I'll show you the culprit here it is that's the culprit right there
All right, first opinion, uh, opinion, evaluation. I'll give it a C because, and maybe a, a little bit though more, maybe a B. It wasn't terrible, but don't forget my beard is pretty long. Maybe I should just leave it go uh, like two days and then try it. Now, the thing is now I have to take it out again but this time I'm going to put just a very little in there. In there. Come on. It comes out pretty fast. Come on. I'm squeezing. Nothing's happening. I know it's in there. This thing is full. There you go. See, it's really hard to control the amount that comes out. Now it's pretty careful. All right. Let's put it in my hands. I did nick myself a little bit there. Keeping everything the same as far as the razor and the blade around the base of the neck, it doesn't seem like it's, I don't know, it seems like I still have a lot of whiskers there, but we'll, let's see what we can do on this, this one, this pass. I nick myself there a little bit. No matter how careful I am, I still do it. I'm on blood thinners, and that's probably why. I'm barely pressing down. Slow and easy. Come back and do that later. Did I lick myself there? I didn't even see that. I hope the viewer that uh, wrote it to me sees this and makes his comment. If I'm doing it the right way, but he sees it. All right. Leave it right there. We'll give it one more shot. I think before in that other video I said that, you know, the soap is good if, if you're working in the garage and get a little grease on your hands or you want to wash your hands. Now, I don't know why this comes out so hard. No matter what you do, you can't. I wish they made that opening smaller because so much of it comes out, it's wasted. And most of it falls into the sink when you put your hands together. I guess you could transfer it into another container, but why, you know? It's a clean smelling soap. I'll really give it credit for that. It's got a peppermint flavor. Flavor? I don't eat it, but smell to it. All right. Sure leaves your hands silky smooth, for sure. All right, we're going to do the upstroke on this one. Can hear the blade cutting. Now yeah, we'll go over this side first.
I've shaved with this razor a lot and with this blade and when you go against the grain like I'm right now I do feel it You like that? Huh. All right, I'm going to do one little, uh, I don't know. Let me do one short pass around the neck. I'm just going to use regular hand soap because I don't want to have it go all over the place again. I'm going to try to squeeze it out of the tube. All right, let's wipe it down with uh, cold water here. I already know what score I'm going to give that. I'm going to up the score on that shaving cream. I guess it's a cream. Just got my... Uh, Septic pencil. I'm gonna put some uh, a lemon uh, witch hazel Thayer's. This is my favorite one of all of the uh, Thayer's. Uh, I don't want to say flavors, but aromas or whatever they call it. Uh, lemon. I love the lemon. All right. If you can wait for a second. I'll give you the rating and what I think it's, what I, I'm going to re-rate re, re it. I guess that's a term, re-rate it. Okay, I'm going to use some Perrazzo aftershave. I like Perrazzo. It's really inexpensive compared to some of them. They're aftershaves, but hey, it does the job. I like it. We'll let that cool a little bit. Then I'm going to use Pacific Shaving Company, you know that, because I've said this before, they're a caffeinated aftershave uh, balm. Especially in the wintertime now, you really, you really kind of need something. Okay, I probably put way too much on. That This will probably last you about four months, I'll bet. They, they have a bigger size now. When I bought it, they didn't. Remember, guys, push up. Anti-gravity. They should call it an anti-gravity aftershave balm or something. All right. Let's put this on the arms a little bit. All right. Let's go back to front. I'll give you the rating in a second. Uh, I use the Pacific Shaving Company. Great stuff. I really recommend you go out and try this if you haven't already. Caffeinated aftershave balm. It's really nice. Nice container. You can throw it in your suitcase or briefcase or whatever. Or leave it home on your shelf. A Prazo, one of my more favorite ones, aftershave balm, and of course, Thayer's. And this got all kind of wrinkly. The label. I don't know why that happens, but probably because of the humidity in my room. But uh, lemon, the lemon flavor, flavor. Uh, let's see what else I used. I used the uh, Prazo pre-shave lotion as a protective measure. I did have a brush. Here. I won't even go into it. It was a. a I don't know, one of these DS Cosmetic, yeah, DS Cosmetic, it's a, um, I didn't use this though, uh, what do they call it, a tuxedo brush. 
synthetic. They, I usually like those. Now, the razor I used was the uh, C37. I always get that mixed up. C34, 30, 37, 34, 37, 37. This is a Merker 37C slant bar razor. Just a real nice razor. And the blade I used in there was a, uh, this is a two-piece razor. It comes apart like this. And then the blade will come out. But I, I like a little overhead because then they can hold on to it or it doesn't fall down. And you grip it like that. This is an asset blade. And today I used, this was the second usage of this blade. All right. Uh, the whole purpose of this thing was to retest this uh, Dr. Bronner's, Bronner's Peppermint Organic Shaving Soap. Uh, all, all in all, the smell of it, the odor, the smell, what do they call it, the scent, the scent, uh, <laughs> was, uh, I'd say about out of 10, about an 8 or a 9, so it's pretty high. It is slippery, I'll give that credit, but as far as uh, the actual shape, I'd give it a C, a C only. Uh, there are better ones, and there are, I think there are some worse ones too, but I'm going to up it up it a little bit and say, is it worth a try? Yeah, you're not going to waste your money. Uh, it doesn't cost a whole bunch of money. It's got a lot of natural ingredients in it. It's been around for a long time, and uh, I think it's worth giving it a try and see if it works for you. I tried to use uh, the razor that I'm familiar with. The blade, it wasn't a super sharp blade. If I used a feather blade, then it wouldn't be giving this a fair appraisal, but I think I gave it as fair appraisal as I could. Uh, I give it about a C, but the smell is about 8 or a 9. Slipperiness, I'd say 8 or 9. And the shave afterwards, uh, it wasn't the most comfortable shave, put it like that. But it was tolerable, put it like that. And so, get a C. There you have it. The uh, I'll put some other links up in the upper right hand corner, the right hand, left hand, wherever. And uh, take a look at some of those videos. And something else, I really appreciate you guys when you leave uh, comments below because I will respond to them like I did on this one here. And I, and I, so if you want me to try something, let me know. I will try it. I appreciate all those you, you guys that have subscribed to me and that are sharing my videos with other people that are just learning how to shave or have a question about a particular soul. And if you have any comments, please leave them down below, good or bad. After my... Uh, my uh, cooking channel, man, I could take anything. So, I mean, it's like I got to put my football helmet on when I'm reading my comments, but it, they don't get to me. So, have a great day. Be safe. And I stop back. I have another video probably in about a week. Okay. Thanks for stopping in. We'll see you later. Hope this helps. Bye.